The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil. But by those who watch them without doing anything. The world will not wait. The planet will not be patient. The time has come. The time is now. Because this is where history is made. Where greatness is born. Where we take a stand. Make a choice. That moment is now. We are at that crossroad. That thin line between light and dark. Good and evil. Love and fear. That moment to step into the light. A new awakening. To take a stand together. To make your mark. To stand tall. To celebrate. To welcome a new era. Not just for us. But for the next generation. For the future. So that one day. When it's all said and done. When the sun sets. When we close our eyes. When there's nothing left to do. When we look back what we've done. We can say that we gave it our all. That we stood for justice. Courage. Integrity. Honor. Kindness. Peace. Truth. That we inspired others. That we celebrated. That we welcomed a new dawn. Tonight, we celebrate. We give it our all. We stand for justice. Courage. Integrity. Honor. Kindness. Truth. Peace. Love. Welcome to a new era. Welcome to the age of consciousness. Welcome to the 2019 Conscious Companies Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Guru Kali. Thank you, welcome everyone. Welcome to all of our guests tonight. Welcome to our judges, our partners, our friends, our family. Thank you all for being here tonight. A special welcome to all of our finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 Conscious Companies Awards. Excited finalists packed a gala dinner at the venue for an evening celebration to honor organizations that align people, planet, and profit. Partners and dignitaries fill the room to recognize South Africa's conscious visionary leaders who are committed to business as a force for good. It was an evening extravaganza to be remembered. Usually Chopin Studios, Tumelo, Ledwaba. He is Mr. Ethics and Governance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Mervyn King. Companies, as you all know, are imagined realities. They don't exist. They're not tangible. They're intangible, incapacitated, inanimate entities. Any initiative where we attempt to transform or shift the way we live our lives as human beings, we can't do it alone. It requires partnership. It requires people with a common vision, a synergy. And we found exactly that with Luca from Unilever. So I would now like to call upon the Executive Vice President of Unilever South Africa, Mr. Luc Olivier Marquet. It's been a tremendous pleasure to, uh, to partner with the Conscious Leadership Academy. And over a year, we've been uh, training uh, hundreds of uh, young talent, young conscious leaders who is going to be uh, a great, uh, great leaders for, for that country and, and, uh, and changing, uh, changing the roadmap of that country. I'm really glad to call the CEO of the Mail and Guardian for a few words, ladies and gentlemen, Hussein Kajika. This project seeks to reinforce the importance of good governance and ethical leadership and, a, and the benefits that accrue from that by simply doing what is right and doing it with a clear conscience. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of IQ Business and the 2018 Conscious Companies Awards winner, Mr. Adam Craker. What's helped us at IQ Business through the challenges uh, that uh, I think all of us have been facing uh, over the last year in our economy uh, has been the focus on consciousness and taking it further. It really has been the start of a new chapter uh, for us as an organization. 
Uh, I will admit to you that even today, I, I don't feel worthy uh, as an individual or as an organization of the accolade uh, of a conscious company. Uh, and indeed, as I look um, at the uh, participants this year, uh, and indeed the finalists, uh, the bar has been raised. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our keynote speaker, Cheryl Carolis. I really am proud to be part of a very lucky generation. I'm proud to be old enough to have lived through all the horrors and to have emerged triumphant. I'm proud to be able to claim truthfully that I was one of those in the front lines of the liberation struggle. I feel enormously privileged to be young enough to be part of the generation that is shaping a very different future for our country. And I think it's very rare in the history of the world to live through such a full circle. I want to use this opportunity this day today in the history of our country to salute that visionary founder of the Conscious Companies Institute, this phenomenal woman called Brenda Carley. Brenda who has, like a true societal leader and visionary, lit a candle in the hours of darkness in our country. For whilst it is necessary and important to identify what is going wrong when things are going wrong and to fight it, it is more important to positively and proactively set a framework for what is going right. It is with great love and honor that I welcome the founder of the Conscious Leadership Academy and the CEO of Conscious Companies, my mom, Brenda Carley. The finalists tonight are a unique breed of men and women who greatly impacted their sphere of influence. You are all conscious leaders trying to create conscious companies. You know, over these years, the most common question asked of me is, what is consciousness? Consciousness is not some pie in the sky, esoteric concept by, practiced by some new age flakes. It is as tangible as one's breath. Many of us go about our daily business totally unaware of our breath, so too is consciousness. It exists beyond the threshold of one's awareness. Common take is that consciousness is a deep awareness of one's thoughts, feelings, emotions, actions, reactions, evidenced by care and compassion. So the difference between a doctor that cuts a patient and a murderer that cuts his victim is care and compassion. Let's meet this year's finalists. The panel of judges chaired by Mervyn King included former minister Issa Pahad, Agnes Peter and Vukani Magubani. The judges examined this year's entries, selecting four NGO and six company finalists. Here are the nominees for the NGO category. Business Engage, Carleen Larson. As a conscious company, we play a very important role and there is a responsibility that comes with that. When we look forward to the future, I think it really is about creating that business environment where all can really grow and succeed. Harambe, Mariana Iskanda. We spend every day measuring the gap between the ideal of what we wish we were and the reality of where we are and closing that gap every day. We definitely spend every day looking at the values on our walls and making sure how they actually live in the hallways of our organization. Moving into dance, Nadia Virasami. Looking beyond individuals and seeing a whole, looking beyond your own privilege, your own circumstances, and understanding the position of the other. And I think that is what consciousness is, and that is exactly what moving into dance does. The Winnie Mabasa Foundation, Lisa Ashton. The Winnie Mabasso Foundation is changing lives. Um, we call our acts of kindness Mabasso Love, and that Mabasso Love is shared both within our organization and outside our organization. And your winner is... Harambe.
Let's take a look at the finalists for the companies. Here are your nominees. BNP Paribas, Vikas Kandelval. We're trying to see if we can make Johannesburg, for instance, a financial center for sustainability within the United Nations Environment Program. These are very simple things, and I must say that it is as a community that we are coming together and doing it, not one versus the other, and that's the beauty of it. Life Sense Group, Angus Rowe. So I have a principle in life that if someone comes into my office and tells me that my business is more important than their family, then I feel their moral compass is somewhat skewed. We started with that ethos from day one, even when we were a brand new entrepreneurial business with three or four staff members. We wanted to start with the right, with the right ethos from day one, not try and bring it in later. Now that we've been nominated, it's like perhaps we're being recognized for something that we've just been doing as part of our life. MIP Holdings, Richard Firth. It's all about authenticity, about doing things for the right reasons, about having the right DNA to make a difference in society while still obviously doing as good as you can for your shareholders. MIP truly embodies what a conscious company is meant to represent. The Unlimited, Ian Bucket. If we do the right thing, pay people well, look after them well, look after their wellness. Some people might say you're taking the moral uh, high ground route and uh, stuff like that. But we don't do that, we don't boast about it. We keep a low profile, we just go on, do the right thing, and we've built a very big business that continues to grow. Turner and Townsend, Stephen McCartney. We've got great integrity, so if we're gonna say that we're gonna do something to a client, if we say we're gonna do something with our staff, if we say that we're gonna do something with the community, we follow through. If I don't act with integrity, if I don't act with honesty, if I don't act with uh, compliance, are they going to do it? Of course they're not. To Shia Advisory Services, Marissa Truta and Abigail Coluse. We knew that through our interventions, we can contribute positively to that economic growth. Our hearts and our minds are really in about how do we take into account all the stakeholders that are involved um, to drive benefit for everyone as far as possible. And your winner is... BNP Paribas. We are extremely honored and uh, thank you to Brenda and the team and all the judges uh, for acknowledging us. Whilst I look at consciousness personally and I think to myself that to acknowledge consciousness is to put into society in everyone's mind that everybody on a daily basis needs to be conscious of firstly everybody around them. The person next to you might be in a different situation to what you maybe have been privileged to be in and also for our children and for their future. If we don't watch the, our water consumption and watch our carbon emissions in the future, we're not gonna be, have an environment that we are fortunate to live in today. We are accepting this uh, award on behalf of our CEO, Vikas Kandawal, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. He instills consciousness throughout the company and it's for every one of the leaders out there in today's day and age. If you don't instill it from the top down, it just will not be in your organization. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, the judges. And yeah, thank you, BNP, for giving us the ability yes. to be conscious. Yes.